Hi folks, it's Mike Murphy and today's quick tip is in ScreenFlow 10. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to archive your ScreenFlow projects to save space on your hard drive. So here is one of my finished tutorials. It's already been uploaded to YouTube and here is the project folder saved to my hard drive as a backup. And if we look at the ScreenFlow project file here, this is what has been saved when I was all done. The file size is currently 12.72 gigabytes, which is pretty big. So I want to archive this to see if I can save some hard drive space. When archiving a project in ScreenFlow 10, ScreenFlow is going to come over to your media bin and delete any unused footage or any footage that is not on the final timeline. So archiving is considered a destructive edit since ScreenFlow will delete the unused footage. That is how it saves file space. But if you know that this project is done, everything that you have on the timeline, all your edits will be exactly the same in the archived file, but all of the unused footage will be deleted. To archive a project in ScreenFlow 10, go up to the top menu, click on File, then click on Archive. So this is telling me that the destructive archiving in ScreenFlow is going to reduce the original document size from 12.72 gigabytes down to 3.5 gigabytes. So that's a savings of 9 gigabytes on my hard drive. And you will also see here though that a copy of the current document will be made. So when you archive a project, it does not overwrite the original. So give your archive project a name. I'm just going to take the original name. I'm going to add an underscore and write archive. And I'm going to save it in the original project folder right next to the original ScreenFlow document. So I'm just going to click on save. And now when I check my project folder on my hard drive, there's the archive ScreenFlow project file. And you can see there, the new size is 3.51 gigabytes versus the original of 12.72 gigabytes. I can just double click on it to open. There's my timeline, so nothing's changed. I can always go back and make any edits. The only difference is that the original unused footage was deleted. It's up to you, but since this is an archive, just for backup, I am gonna delete the original I just saved nine gigabytes on my hard drive. And that is how to archive projects in ScreenFlow 10. My name is Mike Murphy. Cheers.